I want to do a video on where Trump might be coming from. Trump was born in 1946. So when he turned 18, it was 1964. When he turned 25, it was 1971. 1964 and up was roughly the leveling off of the United States industrial age. There was a lot that went on just beforehand, but that was the leveling off, finding exactly where we were going to be financially and, and so forth. So Trump was reared in a time where it was um, best to ignore minorities or at least use them for your own benefit. You don't let them in your, your businesses. You don't let them in high society areas. It was, he was raised by his father to uh, look over the masses, not be a part of the masses. The masses go to war, not the upper classmen. The masses do all the labor and you reap all the benefits. He was raised in that. So when he is doing what he's doing right now, like gutting the EPA, when he's hiring all of these bigoted people to run the country for or slash with him, what Trump is doing is really expressing where and how he grew up. That is what he's doing. He is literally forcing his environment on to us. That is Trump's only thing. I don't even think he's aware of it, but that's what we do. We're all the same in that regard. When we're 16 and about 16 to about 25 or so, those are our good years, our some of our best years that we remember. Not the most benign fun years but those years where we say oh man i remember this changed part of me this did this for me that's where trump's coming from so if we want to stop this we're going to have to do better by ourselves because trump is a product of his environment and we as a society let literally let because we have the ability to stop it we just don't do it we let these things happen so if we want to stop another trump in the future, for the next generation, or even this generation, we have to change how we work within our own environment with the people around us. We have to show them how life is, how it could be, and anything else, right from wrong, good from bad, uh, favorable from unfavorable, what works and don't work, but not to step on others. Teach them to not step on others to get ahead. I know it might be hard in this capitalist society, but I believe we can do it. Is possible. We just have to break ourselves and do it. That's all I want to say. This is Cedric Kennedy for Comparative Reasoning. Thank you for listening.